I Love a Primary. It is nearly the summer break and we are on day eight of our choreography competition. Let's find out what's in store today. So as a recap, we are really nearly finished and you should have finished all of your moves by now. As I said yesterday, we're just going to add some little finishing touches on the next couple of days and then it's performance time. So hopefully you're really confident with the dance, which means you've practiced it a lot and you know really easily what move comes next. And as I always say, as a recap of what we've done so far, your dance should include music, levels, shapes, sizes, pathways, speed, dynamics, an amazing beginning and an awesome ending that we looked at yesterday. So it's day eight and today we are going to look at focus and projection, two different words. So have a think. Have you heard these two words before? Focus and projection. What do you know about focus? And what does it mean to project? Have a little think to yourself or tell somebody in the room any ideas you might have. Okay, let's discover together. So first of all, focus and our pictures are a little bit of a clue here. Have you ever heard someone say, focus your eyes this way? Maybe at school when you have to look at a picture or a whiteboard or something the teacher is showing you. They are asking you to pay attention to something specific. So instead of looking around the room, focus your eyes right here. Dancers can't shout out to the audience. We can't be in the middle of our moves and go, hi, hey, watch this bit. So we have to use our own eyes to help steer the audience's direction at where we want them to look. So let's give that a try. It's time to experiment with your focus and where your eyes are looking. So we're all going to throw our arms up in the air with a strong dynamic and a fast tempo. I'll try and do it, but I don't think you'll be able to see all my arms. We'll keep our eyes forward as if we're looking at the audience. Ready? So we're going to fling our arms up. One, two, three. All right. Okay. So we were looking straight ahead and the arms were coming up. Now we're going to try it one more time. Well, two more times. The next time, we're going to throw our head up to look at the ceiling at the same time as the arms coming up. Ready? One, two, three. Perfect. And now let's try it one more time. The arms go up, but our head is going to go down low to the floor at the same time. Let's try it together. One, two, three. Brilliant. Have a think to yourself or tell someone in the room, how did that feel different each time? And which one felt more natural? Looking forward, looking up or looking down? Have a think. Okay, it's personal preference, of course, which one you think is more natural, but hopefully you've got some ideas there. Let's move on to projection. So, if we ever go to the movie theatre or the cinema, and you sit in those gorgeous seats and you've got the big screen in front of you, the movie comes from right back. I don't know if you've ever seen, there'll be like a glass box at the back and that projects onto the screen. So just like that movie projects in across a huge room, as dancers, we need to project ourselves to our audience. 
This means that we need to give a confident presentation and we have to make every single person in the theater feel involved. So even those people that are sat right at the back, you need to include them in how you present your work. Let's give this a try. So it's our turn to pretend we're in a theater or in a huge stadium and we've got an adoring audience all in front of us. How are we going to project ourselves? Let's try our upper body first. So at the moment I'm slouched down in my um, chair and my energy feels quite low and in. I'm quite relaxed. Now we need to imagine we're on the stage. So I'm gonna push myself forward. I'm gonna lower my shoulders. I'm gonna lift my chin slightly. And then I'm gonna look further up and back as if there's people right far, far, far in chairs, really far back. And I want to involve them all. I don't wanna keep my eyes down and low because they're not gonna see. So I have to look right far back. And this is our projected upper body. Let's have a try with an arm. So we will have an arm race out to the side. Where is the arm? You, we can't see the arm. There's the arm. No, no, no. There, right. So we've got what? There it is. Okay, so I've got an arm on maybe like a high diagonal. And it's a bit like limp and it's a bit brrr, and that's not going to be a very exciting arm to the people right at the back of the theatre. So now, can you imagine you've got all this energy and muscles in your arm and you're going to stretch and stretch like your arm could go on forever and push the shoulder forward like you're really reaching and then your chin and your eyes are lifting and you're really projecting that arm and your whole body out. Did you feel the difference? That's what it means to project in dance and in theatre in general. So today's task. Look back through your dance and go through every movement slowly. I'd like you to think about where you're focused so where your eyes are going to be looking on every single move. If your arm goes out to the side, maybe you want to follow it. If you've got a down look or sometimes you're going to be looking at the audience too to really engage them. Once you've found the best place to have your focus on every move, practice it a lot of times so that every single time that arm goes out, you remember to do the head. It's like your head and your eyes are another part of your body that's moving all the time. Next, you need to aim to project. So just like we did with our body and our long arm, pretend you're in a packed theatre or stadium with loads of people and you need to reach those people in the very back row to make sure they're having just as good a time as those in the front. Once you've thought about your focus and your projection, I'd like you to film yourself or ask a grown-up to film you and then you can watch it back and check to make sure your focus and your projection are the very best they can be. And of course, have fun with it, Lower Primary. You've finished your dance now. You just need to get these little key details perfect. Enjoy. See you tomorrow.